This is Empower X Speakers Bureau. We are Nizwane, right here with you. What I'd like to be able to talk to you today is about how the best of the best keep on getting better. It is vital for you to be able to look into ways in which you could be moving yourself, not just from being good to being better, but becoming the best in all that you do. Those who are best in what they do tend to do six simple things, and I want to give them to you as your six pack. Number one, you love pressure. Those who are best in what they do love pressure. They do not thrive in environments where they're just doing ordinary stuff. They want to be able to have something that's pushing them to become even better in what they do. Second, they fixate on the long term because the future is where you really will have the very best of you. My mentor used to be able to share this with me, saying, you gotta live your life in crescendo because the best of you is yet to come. And it's vital for you to be able to know that you will be able to give out the very best of you when you choose to focus on the better that is in the future. So look out for what is in the long term, not just in the short term. It is important for you to also look at number three, using the competition to be able to help you to become the better. Because when you know who else is there in the same game as you're involved in, you want it to be able to make sure you do better. But of course, the best competition you have is competition against yourself. So you're always looking for ways in which you can give the very best of you so that what you did last week, what you did yesterday, is nothing paling, in fact, to what is ahead of you. Fourth, you want to make sure that you reinvent yourself. Make it a point that each day you're looking for better things that you can do so that you can improve you, the way people see you, the way people consume what you present all through your life. Number five, you celebrate your victories. Even if it is just one thing that you've done and it's a milestone towards something greater, celebrate that. Milestones are basically the very same thing that says you run for a mile, you put a stone, and then you celebrate that. Run for another mile, put a stone, and celebrate that. It is vital to be able to make sure you give yourself time just to celebrate. And then of course, finally, it is important for you to be able to look into your six pack and say, do you have the will to win? So often, we have many people who get into the game with the intention of not losing, when in fact you should get into the game with the intention to win, because winning is something that you could be able to live by, and winning can be a habit. So let's go that way.